Hi, it's Tara. I'm going to do my first Cricut Mug Press project. First of all, I'm going to clean off. I've already made my design. It's um, going to be for a little gift for my family reunion. I took a t-shirt um, design that I made a couple years ago and I'm gonna put it on a mug. I shrunk it down and we'll just see what happens. It looks like the little line there. I don't know if it's gonna affect not sure if it's sticky stuff or what it is exactly. I'll make sure it's nice and clean. I watched the um, tutorial video that Cricut offers on Cricut Design Space and it suggest to clean the surface off with uh, rubbing alcohol wipes. I just happen to have a little spray bottle here. I'm not sure what that is. I really hope this doesn't affect my design. It almost looks like there's um, a little sticky adhesive or something stuck on there. I can't tell. cleaning it here. So I'm using a ceramic mug blank that is of a Cricut brand. Although I'm sure on Amazon and other places online you can find um, sublimation blank mugs that would probably work just as well. Okay. I feel like I've cleaned that to the best of my ability and I am going to do a little lint rolling too. So I did not use um, the Cricut template. I'm learning as I go here. I already made my first mistake. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use some heat resistant tape to tape my design on. And because it's mirrored, it's gonna have to go this way. So I'm gonna stick it right on the bottom here. I want it to be even. I've got about a, an inch on either side. That's gonna just be white mug. Grab my cricket ruler here. It's about an inch. It's a little less. sure this is not an iron-on blue or infusible ink blue that's going to put a spot in the middle. I will say I also am probably going to have to get a new blade for my machine because I did do the hard pressure when cutting this and it still was difficult to weed. Okay, so start over. Realign this here.
This is probably the most tedious part besides weeding our projects is getting this lined up just right. Because once it's on there, it's on there. Looks good to me. I am going to set this down and take it out. Okay. Just an extra little piece of tape on here. Although I'm guessing that the mug press is going to really pull this tight. I want to make sure that the ink is going to infuse evenly. I'm learning as I go here. I probably won't do it like this again, but um, you can hopefully learn from some of my mistakes. Okay, so I'm gonna fire up the machine. It's orange, once it turns green, it's going to be ready to go. So the technology is supposed to pull from your environment and be automatic with the setting for the temperature. So I live in Michigan and it's spring, but it's pretty chilly outside. And the weather's dry right now. But for the most part, we have a lot of humidity in the air. So it's still orange. Let me just check our directions, make sure I'm doing everything properly. Okay. Yeah, this actually isn't directions. It just tells you about the heating elements and what's inside. So I do believe, oh, I can smell, I can smell the heating elements heating. I do believe as soon as it's ready and the heat has reached the optimal temperature for infusing, it'll the um, power button, which is orange right now, is going to turn green, which actually that did list that in the instructions. I know in my unboxing video, warming up connect mode are both orange and then re uh, black is standby and green is ready to use. So I'm making um, red, white, and blue tie-dye t-shirts that I plan on doing some iron-on Cricut vinyl to have some sort of an element, maybe like what I did here with our name for our family annual cookout that we have. Last year, because of COVID, I, I canceled it, but this year we've got the vaccine and I'm ready. We have an indoor building on our property that we can hold our small little family in if we need to. But if not, it's it'll be outside and it usually is. One year we got hit with rain and 
it didn't last long and it dried up pretty quickly and our family was able to get back outside and enjoy our company and enjoy the weather. It's still orange, so I'm just going to pull up the video here and see if there's anything I'm missing. This video will show you how to transfer your weeded and fusible link design onto a mud link using Cricut Mud Press. You'll love it. First, for best results, clean your mud surface using an alcohol wipe and follow it with a lint roller. Then, with the mug handle facing you, oh, take it's your green. design and wrap it around your mug. Take care to ensure the bottom edge of your design is flush with the bottom of your mug, just like this. Next, okay. gently pull both ends of your cut design towards you. It's ready. It just took a while. So that's a learning experience together. Okay. I'm going to set it in here. Okay. And making sure that everything that I want cooked is cooking. Okay. So we have the first light is already lit up. I'm just checking to make sure that my design is all inside where the heat element is, the little mint green heating element. There's one flashing light on top of five, and once the project is to the heat that it needs to be to be complete, it's going to be lit up of all five of the lights. So it's just flashing one light right now. I'm not sure how long this is going to take because this is my first one. So I'm just going to kind of do a little review. I opened up my infusible ink sheet that's supposed to be made for this size of a project. And when you actually do a template for the ceramic mug infusible ink, it'll actually cut out to the exact size. So this does have a little excess. It's a lot taller than my mug. I know that there are um, taller mugs that will fit in this. I have the smaller um, 12 ounce mug, but yet um, I think that it's not necessary to purchase these smaller infusible inks it's just maybe more convenient and there is going to be some excess um, transfer sheet left over that you might want to save for extra projects which I am going to do just gonna stick it in here okay I'm on my number two flashing light Super excited. <laughs> Oops, I left a piece out. We're still just on the second blinking light. And like I said, the directions in the tutorial video from Cricut Design Space tell you that your mug will be done when it is to the fifth blinking light or the fifth light. Now my third, third of five lights is on its journey and finally flashing. I don't know that I'm going to use something that tiny, but we'll throw it in here anyways. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm using right here. Cricut brand ceramic mug blank. 
two count, 12 ounces each. I still have the other one in the box. I bought a few when I purchased my machine so I'd be able to kind of play around. And I went online actually today and saw that they're, that they're actually selling um, in bigger quantities where I think it's $75 for a 36 count box of their mugs. So that averages out to a little over $2 a piece, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty reasonably, reason, reasonably priced for a Cricut Blank. I know for me personally, I felt like the thing that was really kind of overpriced were the blank onesies for little ones. I think they were like $12 just for a blank. So the fact that the ceramic mugs are pretty reasonably priced through Cricut, I think is gonna do well for them. Um, if they did that for more of their blanks um, and offered them in more bulk where you could buy multiple, you know, t-shirts and, and whatnot, they, they'd sell more of their own sublimation blanks. We are at flashing light number four. We're almost there. I'm super excited. Oh, I gotta make sure I have my, my mat ready. I've got my Cricut mat ready here to set my mug on to cool. And the cooling process can take um, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it cool and stop the video and then join back and show you my, my finished product. We won't sit here and chat for 10 to 30 minutes. Okay, I'm at the fifth blinking light. So once it goes solid, I am going to remove my mug. Okay, it beeped, it's telling me it's ready. So it does beep and let you know. And I'm going to carefully reach in, pick it up and set it down. And I'm just gonna let this cool off. I'm gonna turn my machine off now. And I will be back to show you the finished product. Okay, time to do the reveal of my first project. I've let it cool for about, I'd say 20 minutes. I'm gonna take my tape off which is probably gonna be the longest time. I can already see that there's a dot. Um, I don't know what this is from. Oh, what's on, yeah. Some, something got on there and it's like, really, it looks black. So it's not from the, infusible ink. I'm not sure what happened there. That's very odd. I'll have to like do a close up of it and show you. Not sure. Just have to be extra, extra careful and extra, extra clean. You know, it's possible even I didn't look inside of my um, machine to make sure that there wasn't anything on the walls inside in here. So there, there might be a tip too to help all of you out that are new to ceramic mug sublimation and, and infusible ink projects. Okay, here we go. Oh no. There's a little spot at the top. I don't know what happened, but it's my first one. So I see where it did some bleeding. 
It's my first one. Not bad. I'm excited. It's definitely a learning experience to do the first mug. But I'm pretty happy. Like, wow, this is cool. We're gonna be able to microwave and dishwash and not worry about it. And I'm so thinking that for Christmas, making mugs and filling them with candy or any holiday for that matter, birthdays, um, Mother's Day's coming up, just anything, baby showers, congratulations to mom gifts. Um, this is really awesome. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I, I definitely am learning from the very first one here to make sure that the mug's completely clean, make sure that the inside of the machine is clean and clear and there's nothing stuck to the walls on the inside and have to be careful with the, uh, you know, little lettering. Make sure that you have a really sharp blade in your, um, Cricut Maker machine or whatever machine that you use to cut your infusible ink projects. So, super happy. I'm not sure how well you can see. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit closer to the camera. We've got a little, a little bloop up there. And then the little black dot I was telling you about is right here. So not sure what happened there, but I'm still excited. I'm still really happy and hopefully I'll do another video that'll be more successful. Thanks for joining me. Please click subscribe and like my channel, like my videos. Thank you so much.